This designation is a direct response to an outlaw regime and should surprise no one. And it builds on the more than 970 Iranian individuals and entities that the Trump administration has already sanctioned. For 40 years, the Islamic Republic's Revolutionary Guard Corps has actively engaged in terrorism and created, supported, and directed other terrorist groups. The IRGC masquerades as a legitimate military organization, but none of us should be fooled. It regularly violates the laws of armed conflict. It plans, organizes, and executes terror campaigns all around the world. From the moment it was founded, the IRGC's mandate was to defend and export the regime's revolution by whatever means possible. The IRGC institutionalized terrorism shortly after its inception, directing horrific attacks against the Marine barracks in Beirut in 1983 and the U.S. Embassy Annex in 1984. Alongside the terror group it midwifed, Lebanese Hezbollah. Its operatives have worked to destabilize the Middle East from Iraq to Lebanon to Syria and to Yemen. With this designation, the Trump administration is simply recognizing a basic reality. The IRGC will take its rightful place on the same list as terror groups it supports. Lebanese Hezbollah, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, Hamas, Khatib Hezbollah, among others, all of which are already designated as foreign terrorist organizations. The long list of IRGC backed terror incidents is ample justification for today's decision. I want to just give you a handful of examples. Last September, a federal court in the United States found Iran and the IRGC responsible for the 1996 Kobar Towers bombing, bombing, which killed 19 American service members. In 2011, the United States foiled an IRGC could force plus right here in Washington, D.C. to bomb a restaurant. The attempt was to kill the Saudi ambassador to the United States of America. Outside of the United States, the IRGC's terror campaign is just as active. In 2012, four Quds Force operatives were apprehended after plotting to attack Israeli targets in Turkey. In that same year, two other Quds Force operatives were arrested in Kenya for planning a bomb attack, while the Quds Force also directed So there it is, Mike Pompeo with the news from the State Department. Rich Edson Israeli listening as well. Rich, tell us how this as developed. Recently as January well, this is a consideration the United States government has been looking into for years. The Trump administration now moving forward with this really historic designation, one that says that a peace of a foreign government is actually a foreign terrorist organization. It's the first time the United States has ever made such a designation, and it really makes it a crime to assist the IRGC anywhere across the world. So the U.S. making this designation today, it will take effect, according to the Secretary of State, in one week. There are some concerns about this, particularly uh, there are some who say that uh, with U.S. forces that are operating in the Middle East and the IRGC that is also operating across the Middle East, that it could put in harm's way uh, some American forces there. What the administration is saying is keeping the IRGC unchecked puts U.S. forces at risk.